please remain standing for the national anthem? Please remain standing for the invocation, Laney Stanton. Please bow your heads. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for the privilege of being here today to gather with our family and friends. Please continue to guide our steps each day as we move forward in the community. Inspire us to believe in the goodness of life when faced with challenges and difficulties. Allow us to be a lighthouse for you each day. All this I ask in your name and for your glory, amen. You may be seated. Jill White has the class welcome. Good evening. It is my honor to welcome each and every one of you to our high school graduation. It seems surreal that our time as high school students is finally coming to an end. This, the journey we have taken together has been a long road with many different obstacles and road closures that we have had to drive through. Fortunately, I can say we have overcome these obstacles and made it to this crossroads. I am blessed to be able to share these past two years and this time with all of you. I would like to take a moment to recognize those who have helped guide us to where we are today. We would be running in circles if, not, if our families had not put in a tremendous amount of time getting us prepared for today. From dragging our behinds out of bed for the past 12 years to the endless amounts of support at our extracurricular events. Oh, let's also not forget how to mention the stress they have gone through helping us get through our senior year. I think my family even has a touch of senioritis. We are truly grateful for everything that you have done for us. I would like to especially thank my parents for loving and supporting me even when I did not think I deserved it, for their continuous encouragement throughout my crazy busy life, and for reminding me that I just need to suck it up. Y'all have helped, me, helped shape me into the woman that I am today, and I am very grateful. 
I would like to thank the teachers who put up with us throughout the years. I imagine most of you have wanted to pull out our hair, pull our hair out some days, or perhaps even your own. But we thank you for never giving up on us. Lastly, I would like to thank the good Lord above. I know I have spent countless hours praying that he would give me the strength I need to get through another day. I thank him now for bringing each and every one of you to this ceremony to support us as we continue our journey. I pray that the Lord gently guides us in the right direction, although some of us might need more of a push. Finally, I pray that we never forget this moment and the people who are here to celebrate with us. We are not just the graduating class of 2022. We are a family. I love each and every one of you, and I thank you for openly accepting me here at Brooklyn High School. This isn't a goodbye. It's a see you later. Thank you. Ms. Odom will now present, Ms. Odom, our principal, will now present our honor graduates. Brooklyn High School 2022 honor graduate is Ms. Jill White. Our 2022 salutatorian is Ms. Sophie Schuler. In Brooklyn High School, 2022 valedictorian, Ms. Paige Rogers. Good evening, everyone. First, I want to thank the Brooklyn High School teachers, administrators, and staff, as well as the parents, families, and friends who are here tonight to continue showing their endless support. Thank you for joining us on this special occasion. We could not have made it this far without each of you, and it is my honor to speak to you tonight. Classmates, during our last 12 years of school, did you ever wake up and think, why am I still waking up at six or seven o'clock in the morning to go sit in a classroom for eight hours straight, five days a week, for over the course of about nine months each year. Because honestly, me too. Even today, the day that I will remember forever is my graduation day, I thought, why am I getting up this early? I could be snoozing away, dreaming about the delicious lunch that I'm gonna have when I wake up at noon, which is a decent time to wake up, despite what everybody believes. Variations of these thoughts go through my head every single morning before school, yet I still get up and come to school, except on those rare occasions when I give in and let myself sleep for another five minutes that actually turns out to be about five hours. We, my classmates and I, get up every day and come to school, not because we have nothing better to do, but because we choose our future success over relaxation and leisure. We choose to show up and work to achieve our goals instead of making excuses. I can confidently say that we will continue to show up and make a difference throughout the rest of our lives. The class of 2022 has faced several hardships over the years. From hurricanes to pandemics, our strength has been tested. It is undeniable that our class has what it takes to make an impact on the world. We are the world's future lawyers, doctors, soldiers, and entrepreneurs just to name a few of the class of 2022's career plans. After tonight, each one of us will be one step closer to becoming the successful individuals we have always aspired to be. 
As I said before, the individuals in the audience tonight have been a crucial part of our success throughout high school and much of our lives. We could not have made it without, without you. Personally, I would like to thank my parents for always pushing me to be the very best version of myself that I can be. You both, along with the rest of my family, have taught me to never give up and that anything is possible when you truly put your mind to it. I would also like to thank my friends who have stuck beside me since the first day that I moved to Brooklyn. Thank you to my teachers and coaches who welcomed me with open arms and encouraged me to excel academically and athletically. And lastly, thank you to our administrators for making Brooklyn High School a safe place to grow and learn. Now, before I wrap this up, classmates of 2022, this is it. We finally made it. The moment we've been, the moment we've been anticipating for the last four years is here right now. We have officially completed the first milestone of our lives. Whether you're going into the workforce, becoming a soldier, or heading to college, you will do great things. We finally have the world in the palm of our hands. Now it's time to go out there and make a difference. Thank you. Teacher of the Year is voted on by the teachers of Brooklyn ISD. It truly shows the appreciation the teachers have for the hard work and dedication of the recipient. The teachers receiving the Brooklyn High School Teacher of the Year became a wildcat in 2006. Since I have started, she has guided me through the traditions of Brooklyn ISD. She works tirelessly with our seniors as she guides them through their senior year. There are no words to express the dedication she has for our students. The 2022 Brooklyn High School Teacher of the Year is Ms. Kelly Ward. Superintendent Kevin McHugh will now have the address to the class of 2022. Good evening. I would like to thank all the parents, families, faculty, and school board members for their support of Brooklyn Independent School District and the graduating class of 2022. A commencement program for any graduate is a culmination of many years of hard work, dedication, and valuable life lessons. The Brooklyn High School class of 2022 is well prepared to move forward in pursuit of their goals and dreams, and our community is proud of your accomplishments. Some of you have encountered doubt that you would even reach this point tonight. Much of that doubt was likely fostered in your own mind, yet here you are. After graduation, each of you will take the next step in your journey. You will get plenty of advice as you re-enter the world tonight as a high school graduate. During high school, your parents have provided guidance, your curfew time, gas money for your vehicle, a cell phone, and free room and board. Now you have to assume greater responsibilities. Graduates, as you prepare, you go your separate ways tonight. There are three beliefs that I will share with you that can be valuable. My first belief is that you need to embrace new challenges. Face it, after tonight, many of you will not see each other again, either by your choice or theirs. All of you at some point this year started to count down the days until now. You are ready to leave school and enjoy what life has in store. You won't get these high school years back, but you will cherish the positive memories you have had. Life is just getting started for you as a young adult. My second belief is that you should never let anyone else define you. 
No one has total authority to tell you what you can or cannot do with your life. Who knows what the future holds for you and what your influences will be? Every one of you is unique. You will take different paths and encounter obstacles along the way, but your success or failure falls on you. It doesn't matter how long it takes for you to find you, but you are fully empowered to reach your goals. You will have failures along the way. We all do. No one has a 100% success rate. A month ago, Elon Musk bought Twitter for $44 billion. He didn't let anyone define him or limit him, but he experienced failures in other business ventures before he became a trillionaire. My third belief is you need to figure out what you like and what your calling will be. Don't hold back from a new educational or career challenge because you think you may fail. Sure, it is nice to have a network of support from friends and family, but you have to be your own cheerleader. Encourage yourself and keep pushing forward when the world seems to be aligned against you. Some days life is a grind, but quitting when things don't go your way is a bad habit to start and a difficult habit to break. I encourage you to enjoy the little things in life. Sometimes our lives move so fast that we miss out on special moments. Watch the sunset with a loved one. Take a walk in the park. Travel to a family reunion and talk to your crazy uncle. Sit in rocking chairs on the front porch, waving at the mail carrier, and throw the ball in the front yard with your child. Make memories for yourselves and others that are close to your heart. Graduates, I will finish this address to you with a pair of quotes from a man you have likely never heard of named Tom Magliozzi. Before passing away in 2014 from Alzheimer's disease, Tom and his brother Ray hosted a popular weekly show on National Public Radio called Car Talk. Only one of these two quotes has any connection to cars. On behalf of Mr. Magliozzi, please remember these two quotes. One, you will never have more hair, energy, or brain cells than you have today. And two, if you don't know where you're going, any road will take you there. It is now time for this class to travel the roads and make great lives for yourselves. Congratulations to the Brooklyn High School graduating class of 2022. Thank you. Stacy Gillis, I am the uh, counselor here at Brooklyn ISD. I must say it's a group of very diverse students, very different, many different talents, many different ideals. Uh, similar to Mr. McHugh and uh, Ms. Odom, I will attempt to give a few words of wisdom, very, very short words of wisdom. I like YouTube, like a lot of you do, and I pull one of my favorite videos of a politician attempting to confuse the media. It was Donald Rumsfeld, who has since passed away. He was Secretary of Defense during the Second Gulf War, and he served under several different presidents. A reporter asked him why they have not found any chemical weapons during the military operation in Iraq, since that was one of the reasons that we went into Iraq. His response was the basis of a movie that was on him. It was called Known Unknowns. So I'll tell you how he categorized different things in life. He said that it always amazed him when people commented on people, places, things, or ideals that have not been seen of or heard because it does not mean that they don't exist. He goes on to classify things in the world this way. So seniors, you gotta let this sink in or you may have to rewatch re it on YouTube. There are known knowns. In other words, there are things you know that you know. You are in math class. You know that you know how to add two double-digit numbers. Facts of life, you know some of those. Then there are known unknowns. In other words, there are things you know that you do not know. For instance, you go by Miss Ward's class, and you overhear the discussion about differential equations. 
since you have never had calculus, you know that you do not know about differential equations, but you are aware that they now exist. You know they're black holes, but you may not know what they consist of. He goes on to say this, and this is his last point. There are unknown unknowns. In other words, there are things that you don't know that you don't know. And this is a category that will get you. And this is not only knowledge, but your emotions and how you handle situations. You may be in college class and just, found out, just find out how hard that you really need to study. You may be on a job and be asked to work two nights in a row due to coworkers nonchalantly taking off. Is it fair? Probably not. Does it happen? Yes. But you don't really know until you run through those scenarios. This is where you need to handle your emotions. Just be aware that right now there are many unknown unknowns out there, and those will get you if you do not have the right attitude. Now for the scholarship program, we have several presenters. First, Jerry Picard with the Shelby Savings Bank. On behalf of Shelby Savings Bank and Shelby Insurance Agency, I am pleased to present a scholarship in the amount of $1,000 to Sophie Schuler. Chris Reese and Tommy Lyles will present the scholarship of the Brooklyn Masonic Lodge. Good evening, all. And May I take this time, if you don't mind, first off, thank God, thank all of you, thank all of the BIASD people that are here with us, and thank all the support that everybody out there has give the Brooklyn Lodge through the year. As uh, some of y'all know, we had a fish fundraiser last Friday, and it would not have been a success without you people out there. Thank you very much. Some ask what the money from our fundraisers go to. Well, tonight I can answer that. The scholarships we hand out tonight and the awards we're going to present. First off tonight is the Honesty and Integrity Award, which was actually started for the first year last year to promote our young people. This award is presented to a junior student at each school district through, through the U.S. Our student, for, which was chosen here at Brooklyn ISD by the Brooklyn people, is Miss Lexi Hale. Our second award is one that most people's familiar with and it is called the Marabou B. Lamar Award. And with that being said, is Miss Connie Bennett here. Come on down. Yeah. 
Now you go ahead. I tried to give you fair warning. Just a little bit. Uh, a, a little fact about the Marabou Award. Some of y'all may know that Marabou B. Lamar was the second president of Texas during the Texas early days. And also, he was the first man to set aside over 18,000 acres to start public schools here in Texas. Amongst the 18,000 acres, he was promoting two universities, which by these names, I come to think he may be an Aggie at heart. He was able to actually start Texas A&M and Texas University around 1876. And in 1932, the Beaumont School, Lamar University, was named in his honor. And with that, we'll start our, we're going to hand out two $1,000 scholarships this year, as we did in the past. At this time, would uh, Miss Lanny Stanton Our next name, if, if I get this jumbled up, blame my wife. Chelsea Kadelka. On behalf of the Brooklyn Masonic Lodge, we thank you for your time. I now present Jared Mason with Education First. Good evening. On behalf of the Board of Directors, employees, and members of Education First Federal Credit Union, I'd like to present our $1,000 scholarship to Jill White. Now, Shorty Warren of the American Legion Post 197 in Hempel will present his award. Still haven't figured out where I got that nickname. Actual name is Tom Warren, but nobody in Sabine County knows me by that name. I'd like to start out, if you can bear with me for a minute. Do we have any veterans in the group? If we do, please stand up. Do we have any police officers in the group? Or former police officers, retired police officers? I salute all of you. 
If it wasn't for you, we couldn't be here. A wise old Greek man once said, I grow old learning something new every day. Your education has just started. You think you had 12 years of learning. That just gave you the tools to learn. Now your education really begins. God bless you. On behalf of the American Legion Post 197, Ms. Lanny Stanton, I give you this scholarship. It's not much, but it's our way of being able to contribute just a little bit to a veteran and their family. God bless you, young lady. Take care. Tom Spring will present the Tim Stanley Memorial Scholarship. I'm humbled and honored to be able to present this $500 Tim Stanley Scholarship Award for the Stanley family. This same scholarship is being awarded at all four of the other schools in our area, Hemp Hill, West Sabine, Brooklyn, and Broadus. He's taught and, and uh, coached in all these four schools. All of this funding was accomplished by many of his ex-students and athletes. Mr. McHugh and I were so lucky to have coached and taught with Coach Stanley. He was really special and shared many good memories with us. I know how much he dearly loved teaching and coaching. There's no doubt in my mind that exactly what he was born to do. He lived his life with great enthusiasm. He was a pretty special person to me, and I was really, really proud that their family asked me to do this. I don't know how very many people have ever heard of anybody being uh, drafted from Alaska to play Major League Baseball, but Tim was, and he was injured while he was playing uh, minor league ball, and he, he went into teaching and coaching, and he's a very special person to me, and the winner of his scholarship is Devin Watley. Amanda Lunquist will now present the local 4-H scholarship. say congratulations to the class of 2022. Um, also, I'd like to say um, we're very fortunate that we were able to start a Brooklyn Wildcat 4-H, and our local community um, has really sponsored us. So this year, we're able to grant our first ever $1,500 scholarship to a young lady that's helped start this whole club. Uh, we started off at five children that were in this club, and now we're up to 22, Lainey Stanton.
another one. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Ms. Lincoln. The local chapter of the Daughters of the American Revolution has presented Laney Stanton as the Dar Good Citizen of Brooklyn High School for the current year and having demonstrated the qualities of dependability, service, leadership, and patriotism. She is hereby awarded this Dar Good Citizen certificate and pin. Have I missed any presenters? Does anybody want to give any money and present? No? OK. All right, I'm going to do this. I'm going to try to get these students uh, up here and, and announce uh, these scholarships that the, uh, the sponsor didn't want to public speak, not to call them out, or um, they just couldn't make it here. Abigail Anderson. Abigail has a $60,000 academic scholarship from Texas Lutheran in Seguin. She is also going to be a member of the Texas Lutheran Cheer Squad. She has a scholarship from the Jasper County Sheriff's Department for $1,000. We've all had a signing ceremony for Ethan Coulter. Come on up. He will have a soccer scholarship at Tabor College in Hillsboro, Kansas. Let me just show you. Jeremiah Estes. Uh, Specialist Tercios could not make it uh, this afternoon. She has an engagement at another school. Jeremiah has been working with the Texas Army National Guard. After graduation, um, well, right now he has reached the rank of private second class. He embarks on his warrior's quest this summer and will complete basic combat training immediately followed by his military training school. And of course, he will be eligible for the GI Bill. Jeremiah Estes. Gavin Haas. He has had his signing ceremony for uh, playing baseball at Holy Patriot. Chelsea Kadelka.
Chelsea is awarded the Brooklyn Alumni Association Scholarship for $1,000. Paige Rogers. Paige will receive an academic scholarship at Texas A&M Corpus Christi. She will have a tuition waiver for being valedictorian and attending a Texas State University. She has a scholarship from the Sabine County Reporter for $250. She was our local reporter representing us and writing articles. Scholarship from Brooklyn Art Club for $250. Paige Rogers. Also, Paige is the student of the year. Of course, that includes both academic and extracurricular. So she will be receiving an award for being student of the year at Brooklyn High School. Devin Watley. Devin will also receive the Jasper County Sheriff Department $1,000 scholarship and the Brooklyn Alumni Claire McNeil Scholarship for $500. Jill Wright. Jill will have a rodeo scholarship for Northeast Texas Community College in Mount Pleasant, and she is also awarded the John W. Kayla Scholarship for $1,500. Real quickly, I'm going to go through, and some of this is repetitive, go through what these seniors' um, plans are for after graduation. Abigail Anderson attend Texas Lutheran University in Seguin to be an athletic trainer. Hunter Bobbitt will continue to be a creative artist. Donna Brooks will have a job involving childcare. Ethan Coulter will be at Tabor College in Hillsboro, Kansas. Jeremiah Estes is in the Texas Army National Guard. John Glenn will work at O'Reilly's and eventually become a mechanic. William Gray is going to be an HVAC. Brooks Hale is going to LIT for HVAC. Gavin Haas play baseball for Holy Patriot University in Beaumont, Texas. Leah Howe, the East Texas Cosmetology College in Lufkin. Chelsea Kadelka, Angelina College for Respiratory Therapy. Jason Lakey, Pipeline. Madeline Lakey, Angelina College for Nursing. Kaylee Menard, Sam Houston State University, major in General Studies. Haas Morton, EMT and Fire Academy in LIT. Ty Parsons, Kilgore Community College, Electric Power Technology Certificate Program, which is a lineman, and he'll be on the fishing team. Evan Peck wants to work in one of the local refineries. Dylan Ramoyne wants to take a hiatus. I told him that was a good word to use here. Fancy word for layoff a year, hiatus. Paige Rogers, Texas A&M University, Corpus Christi, major in biomedical science. Trevor Ross will have a career in music, guitar and music production. Blaine Sawyer, he wants to work in a refinery. 
Sophie Schuler, blend college and transfer to A&M for pre-vet. Vanessa Spate will work at the Texas Department of Corrections after she graduates. Laney Stanton, Sam Houston State University to major in agricultural science. Cole Trick, trained as an electrician in the IBEW. Devin Watley, Sam Houston State to major in film and also do some firefighting. Jill White, Northeast, Northeast Texas Community College in Mount Pleasant to major in animal science. Please give these seniors a round of applause. to the Brooklyn Independent School District Board of Trustees. It is my pleasure as superintendent to certify that the class of 2022 has met all requirements as mandated by Brooklyn ISD and the state of Texas to qualify for graduation. Front row, please stand to accept your diplomas. Abigail Elena Anderson. Hunter Cade Bobbitt. Orlandria Donna Brooks. <laughs> Ethan Armando Coulter. Jeremiah Ray Estes. John Henry Glenn. William Thomas Gray. <laughs> Second row, please stand. Brooks Aaron Hale. <laughs> Gavin John Haas. Leah Faith Howell.
Chelsea Jalee Kadelka. Jason Matthew Lakey. Young sit. Third row, please stand. Oh, excuse me. Madeline Grace Lakey. Miss Joan there. Play with her. Kaylee Rochelle Menard. Third row, please stand. Haas William Morton. Alan Parsons. Evan David Peck. Dylan Joseph Ramon. Paige Lee Rogers. James Trevor Ross. Blaine Joseph Sarter. Back row, please stand. Sophie Grace Schuler.
Vanessa Page Spate. Laney Ray Stanton. Wyatt Cole Trick. Devin Blaine Watley. Jill Colette White. Graduates, please stand. You may now turn your tassels. Congratulations to the Brooklyn High School class of 2022. Give them a round of applause. We will now begin our flower ceremony. When I was a kid, about eight, nine years old, I laid down in the grass and it's my body vision about life. I turned on the evening news, saw an old man being interviewed. Turn it a hundred and two today. I asked him what's the secret to life. He looked up from his old pie. Laughed and said all I could say is, Don't blink. Just like that, you're six years old and you take a nap and you wake up and you're 25 Then your high school sweetheart becomes your wife Don't blink, you just might miss your baby's growing like mine did Turning into moms and dads, next thing you know You better have a 50 years is there Takes you instead. Trust me, friend. A hundred years goes faster than you think. So don't blink. Well, I was glued to my TV when it looked like you looked at me and said. Let's start putting first things first Cause when your hourglass runs out of sand You can't 
Rip it over and start again Take every breath God gives you for what it's worth Don't wait Just like that You're six years old And you take a nap And you wake up and you're 25 Then your high school sweetheart becomes your wife Don't wait You just might miss your babies growing like mine did Turning into moms and dads Next thing you know You better have a 50 years is there and there And you're praying God takes you instead Trust me, friend A hundred years goes faster than you think So don't blame I've been trying to slow it down I've been trying to take it in In this here today gone tomorrow world we're living in Don't blink Just like that you're six years old And you take a nap And you wake up and you're 25 And your high school sweetheart becomes your wife Don't blink You just might miss Babies growing like mine dear Turning into moms and dads Next thing you know You better have a 50 years is there and there And you're praying God takes you instead Trust me friend A hundred years goes faster than you think So don't blink No, don't
She was staring out the window of their SUV Complaining, saying I can't wait to turn 18 She said I'll make my own money And I'll make my own rules Mama put the car in park out there in front of the school And she kissed her head And said I was just like you You're gonna miss this You're gonna want this back You're gonna wish these days Hadn't gone by so fast These are some good times So take a good look around You may not know it now But you're gonna miss this She knows it, she's a brand new bride In her one-bedroom apartment And her daddy stops by He tells her it's a nice place She says, it'll do for now Starts talking about babies And buying a house And daddy shakes his head And says, baby, just slow down You're gonna miss this You're gonna want this back You're gonna wish these days Hadn't gone by so fast These are some good times So take a good look around You may not know it now But you're gonna miss this He says they don't bother me I've got two babies of my own One's 36, one's 23 <laughs> It's hard to believe But you're gonna miss this You're gonna want this back You're gonna wish these days Hadn't gone by so fast These are some good times So take a good look It's been a long day without you, my friend And I'll tell you all about it when I see you again We've come a long way from where we began Oh, I'll tell you all about it when I see you again When I see you All the planes we flew, good things we've been through Then I'll be standing right here talking to you About another path I know we love to hit the road and laugh But something told me that it wouldn't last Had to switch up, look at things different See the bigger picture Those were the days, hard work forever pays Now I see you in a better place See you in a better place Ah. Uh. How can we not talk about family when family's all that we got? Everything I would do, you were standing there by my side And now you gon' be with me for the last it's ride It's been a long day without you, my friend And I'll tell you all about it when I see you again, I see you again. We've come a long way, yeah, a long way. from where we began you know we started. Oh, I'll tell you all about it 
tell you. When I see you again. Go out your way and the vibe is feeling strong and was small Turn to a friendship, a friendship turn to a bond And that bond will never be broken, the love will never get lost And when brotherhood come first, then the line will never be crossed Established it on our own when that line had to be drawn And that line is what we reach, so remember me when I'm gone How can we not talk about family when family's all that we got? Everything I went through, you were standing there by my side And now you gon' be with me for the last ride I let the light guide your way yeah. Hold every memory as you go And every road you take Without you, my friend And I'll tell you all about it When I see you again We've come a long way From where we began Oh, I'll tell you all about it When I see you again When I see you I always knew this day would come We'd be standing one by one With our future in our hands So many dreams, so many plans I always knew after all these years There'd be laughter, there'd be tears But never thought I'd walk away With so much joy, but so much pain And it's so hard to say Oh my God. Please bow your heads as we pray. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for bringing us here today to celebrate the graduating class of 2022. Today signifies the end of one chapter in our lives and the beginning of another. 
As we begin this new journey in our lives, we will face new obstacles but also reach new heights. We know you will always stand beside us, ready to carry us through the biggest challenges. We ask you to bless those who led, guided, guided and directed us to this place where we are today, where we start this new adventure and take on the new, the new world. You are our God. Our future is in your hands. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you all. Thank you all for coming to the graduation class of 2022. This concludes our ceremony. Thank you for coming tonight. You're free to move forward and take group pictures and individual pictures. Thank you. <laughs>